Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with another Temu haul. And yes, it is pronounced Temu. I know everybody goes back and forth, Timu, Temu, it is Temu. But anyway, that comes right from them. So that's why I say that. I'm very impressed with this company. And when they reached out for me to do another one, I jumped on it because I wanted to try some different types of things. And I am actually going to be placing an order myself here very shortly. So when, when I do that and that comes, I will go ahead and do a video on that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what was in my thumbnail first, just to get it off my desk. This is a, of all my notes written here, let me see if I can find this very quickly. I have 20 items to show you. So I'm going to break it up into two videos, 10 items in each video. So this is part one. This is called the four piece LED outdoor motion sensor solar wall lamps. And the pricing on Temu is very much like, like I would say Amazon. You never quite know what the price is going to be. It kind of fluctuates from day to day. These, whenever I chose these, they were $28.49. And it is a four piece. I took took one of the boxes off there, taped, taped together. Because what I wanted to do, this stuff came the other day and I wanted to see if I could charge charge it before I show the made the video. But it has been cloudy here. And it's that was yesterday that I put it in the window. Late in the day, it didn't have time to charge. But this is what they look like. I took one out of the box. Like I said, it is a four piece. Hubby actually took the back off just to make sure that there is a battery inside. And there is. It has the little solar panel at the top. We actually have a bunch of these already that we bought from somewhere else. Much, much more expensive. But we still have some spots around the property that need that extra bit of light. So that's why we picked up, or I picked up this four pack just to see how these would work. These look great. They're very solid. They um, they come with, it's in the box, they come with screws and the little, can't think of what it's called, that you put into the wall, those little plastic pieces that you would screw it into. So those are, those are already here for you. You could put these anywhere you need that little bit of extra light around your house, around your yard. You know, we really like the ones that we have already, not from Temu, from somewhere else, like I said, but we're really looking forward to, one, getting some sunshine here in Pennsylvania and giving these a try. So I thought that was pretty great. And they also came in a two-pack, but I went ahead and chose the four-pack. And the boxes are all taped together. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this down off the floor. Everything... The, bo the boxes got kind of mangled a little bit. And it's another thing I've seen a lot of people talking about that since I'm a YouTuber or anybody else out there that are doing the hauls from Temu as a YouTuber, that everything comes nicely packaged and in a nice box. That's not true. All of my things came in no box. They came in the bags. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you I hope this is the right one. I blacked out my personal information. This is how one of the bags came. It almost, when I took the picture of it to send to them to show, it almost looked like a big footprint on the bag. The bag was split, slashed on two sides, and there's also a slash down here. And when that happened, I'm gonna keep this in my lap I ordered a two pack of bed pillows. When it slashed that outer bag, it also slashed the pillows. And you can, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well. Sorry for the awkwardness of this guys. You can see it's the identical slash marks from the outer bag to the plastic packaging on these pillows. And it split the pillow. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but the pillow is ripped. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out. I did notify them, and they're on it. So their customer service is great. I'm going to, I don't want to split these anymore, but 
And maybe there's some way I can fix the pillow, just stitch it up. But I don't know if you're gonna be able to, to see that very well, but the, the packaging is completely split. Let me see here, where's the pillow that was damaged? I believe it was this one. Like you can even see kind of the dirt mark. Maybe you can't, but there is a dirt mark on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if maybe there's some way I can repair it, but we'll try it. But this is the other pillow, it looks fine. It's still compressed in its original packaging. So you can tell that the packaging has not been not been damaged. I'm sorry for the crinkling guys, but I I wanted you to see. And they also wanted you to see. They told me to go ahead and show it, which that means a lot to me that they want me to be honest. They come very, very compressed. It has all of the, the typical tag work on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this sit here and see how much it fluffs up. It's all, you can see it's already fluffing up. And I'm always on the lookout for a nice bed pillow. So that was kind of disappointing, but I'm gonna see if I can clean it up and stitch it. I don't, I don't wanna just waste it. And they didn't want me to send it back. So that was amazing. And these were the, let me find them here, two piece quilted pillows in white. They did come in other colors. I know there was a gray, I know there was pink, but I chose the white and they were $29.99 for the, the two pack of pillows. And I think, I believe it did say on there that they were like hotel quality. So we'll see about that. So anyway, that was that. I also wanted to tell you that I will have a, a discount discount code for new new um, people that place their first order. That didn't come out very well. And my discount code is PACE809, P-A-C-E-809. I will have all the links in the description box, my link, link directly to them. But if, if you are a first time user on Temu and gonna place an order, use my discount code. I'm not making money from you guys using that at all. That's, I am not. But you will get 30% off plus free shipping. They also have free returns in the US only. Don't know why that is. And right now they're actually running a, um, a Valentine's Day special. A lot of stuff is 90% off. So you might wanna go ahead and check that, check that out if you're interested. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next item. I wanted to try out more of their clothes just to check out sizing, quality, that type of thing. And this is called the, where is it? This is called the Loose Long Sleeve Solid Lapel Shirt. I would consider this a dress. It was $17.99 and this is in the color white. And I got this in an extra, extra large XXL, which they consider a size 14. I did not buy this to use as a dress, but I may. I got this actually to use as a, um, a bathing suit cover up when we go when we go on vacation that that's what I chose this for but once I saw it because I did take the clothing out of the packaging I did try it on just to see what the the quality was what the sizing was like I definitely could have sized way down on this XXL I could have got a large easily maybe even a medium but it is almost like the kind of like crinkle look i don't know what that is called long sleeve they do button at the wrist if you can see that little tiny cuff but cute buttons the whole way down the front it does have the collar at the top the fold over collar which is very pretty and if i'm remembering this right it has pockets let me check i'm thinking it has pockets it does there's the pocket on each side which i love but it is just very nice, super long. It has the kind of shirt tail hem, like a men's shirt, you know, shorter, a little bit shorter on the sides, longer in the front and back, but it buttons the whole way down. So I'm actually going to use this, like I said, when we go to the beach, if we go to the beach this year, as a cover up. And I'm gonna see if I can find the, the tag in here quickly, just to let you know what this is made of. It is 5% polyester, 95% cotton, and it says wash. It says wash with dark color. Oh, don't wash with dark colors, wash separately. 
So yeah, it's majority of cotton and you can tell too, it feels like cotton. So how, maybe this will shrink a little bit, but I just thought it was very, very pretty. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. And it is white guys, the lighting in here today is very wonky, so we have no sun at all, it's a cloudy day. So that's what that is for. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's see, which way should I go here, guys? Nothing in this bag. At least I hope not. Don't see anything. The next thing I'm gonna do for you, since we're doing clothes, I'm gonna show you I'm actually wearing an item right now. These are the women's wide leg loose denim pants slash jeans with pockets. They were $23.48. And I did get them again in the XXL, which they consider a 14. I have been looking for a pair of like loose leg jeans. You know, just not this tight skinny jeans. And I didn't want distressing. Like the, the fading is okay, but where they're all slashed, I'm over it. I want regular jeans. So I thought, why not give them a try from there? I'm liking these guys, but I definitely could have sized down. Like I said, these are the XXL which they call a 14. I'm gonna stand up and move back here for you and I hope I'm gonna be able to get back far enough for you to see. They are a, a darker wash, move my chair out of the way here, but with that like fading pockets on the back, they are stretchy, stretchy. I don't know if you can see that. I could have definitely sized down, but I'm hoping maybe they shrink in the wash. These have deep pockets. I don't know if anybody else has noticed how jeans lately, the pockets are little. These are the deep pockets in the front, nice pockets in the back. They are a looser leg the whole way down, almost to a slight bell bottom at the bottom. They seem a little bit long on me, but I think if I would have sized down to the extra large or even large, they'd have been perfect, but I'm gonna wash them. Maybe they'll shrink. If not, I will just cut the bottoms off a little bit. They are comfortable, guys. These are super, super comfortable. I'm not sending them back because they're comfortable. I, I like them and they're nice and they're loose. They're good traveling jeans for me. So I'm very, very happy with those. But if, if you're gonna you know, purchase something similar, you know, just kind of watch the sizing, watch the reviews, the measurements, all of that. And like I said, any of the links that they send me, I will put in the description box. I know that some of the items were already sold out, but things always come back around. So just keep an eye out. Let me see, which way should I go now? Pick this up. This is the, it's called a mini doorbell. This is called the Smart Video Wi-Fi Doorbell and it says wireless remote, it was $13.49. I don't know much about these. We do not have this type of doorbell system. We have not tried this yet, so I'm not quite sure how this works. It comes with instructions. Very nicely packaged. Like I said, the, all of the boxes that the things were in were a little bit damaged but that doesn't bother me because this none of this is for a gift. Nicely packaged though. So at some point I'm gonna give this a try and see how this works. I don't know much about these type of things and for $13 or whatever that was for this, $13.49. If you guys know anything about these type of things, please let me know. I think, I think it's great though, great price if it works. So yeah, that was the Smart Video Wi-Fi Doorbell Wireless Remote, $13.49. It seemed like online when I was looking at it, it seemed like it's pretty easy to use and set up. The next thing, let me see here. I was telling hubby about this this morning. This is not for me and I'm not gonna try it on, but I actually, ever since the two oldest grandladies were little, every year I have made them something that just for me as a Christmas gift. This past year, I didn't make them anything this past Christmas. I actually gave them something for them to make something. And I actually bought them their own little ring lights since they have you know, their mom's channel and every once in a while you see them in a video. I thought they'd get a kick out of having their own. Got it at a family dollar for five bucks, but I'm actually using one and I love it. 
But anyway, this year, this coming Christmas, I want to make some of the grand ladies, Harper probably won't want one, but I want to try making them like a rag doll from me. And one of the patterns that I saw on Pinterest, they actually used a woman's wig to for the hair on the doll. So that is why I picked a wig. I should have paid more attention. I wanted something that was kind of an ombre effect, but this is way too harsh for what what I want. So I don't know if I can dye this, maybe at one solid darker color, I don't know. It comes with a hairnet over it. It seems very staticky, but my house is very staticky. I know nothing about wigs, guys, but this seems very nice quality. It is super soft, like it feels pretty real. Like it doesn't feel like Barbie doll hair. It has a cap inside. All of you ladies that wear wigs, I'm sure you can tell a lot more about this just from looking at it than I can. And I did look at this earlier. It has these little straps. I don't know if you can see that. I guess it's just to kind of secure it on your head. Like I said, I don't know anything about them, about wigs. So I don't really know. And they also did send a wig cap along with it. But this feels nice. And it, it just feels a lot thicker than what I thought it would be. I thought it would be thin and cheap and that it would work for what I need it for. This feels nice. Like it feels like quality. But like I said, I don't know anything about wigs. I personally really like the coloring of this a lot. The darker roots, the lighter ends. And it is like, it is very well made. Like it's kind of shorter in the back, almost like an undercut. I don't know if you can see the quality of that, but it's kind of pretty. And let's go ahead and open. It does seem to shed some, which I believe some wigs do that. They kind of shred, shed a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and open up this wig cap. I've never, never seen a wig cap in my life. I guess you put this over your natural hair first and then put the wig on. So yeah, I don't know. I may try it, see if I can get this to work for what I want it for. And if I ever, if it would work, I, I will try to show you in the future, but I don't know. But you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it on me. Who knows, maybe if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll go ahead and wear it in a video someday. Be back to my blonde hair, which all of you seem to want me to do. <laughs> So anyway, this was called the, I thought it was a funky name. I should be able to find it quickly. It had something to do with turquoise. It's called Turquoise Ombre White Gold Medium Crop Straight Hair for Women. And it's a wig, obviously. And it was only, this was only $9.89. It is really pretty, guys. I've actually my had my hair you know this color but it does seem to shed quite a bit I don't know if you guys can see that but there is quite a bit of hair coming out so I don't I don't know if that's normal not normal I don't know but any of you ladies out there that do wear wigs know more than I do please go ahead and chime in with this one so anyway that was that I'm gonna try to make that into doll hair we shall see then, next little item I picked up, I wanted to see what their quality of jewelry is. So I picked up this little pair of earrings. This is, let me see, try to open it first here. Where is it? Oops, the little, um, the earring backs are separate in the bag. So if you do get jewelry from them, kind of, kind of pay attention to that so you don't lose it. These are called the Fashion Pop Jewelry Claw Chain Welded Rhinestone Water Drop Earrings in the color Silvery. These were $1.79. And they have like the um that type of earring back, or not earring back, but what goes through your ear, the wire. These are like a teardrop shaped rhinestone and they are silver tone. These are not real, these are costume jewelry very very pretty let's go ahead and try it real quick 
And the earrings I have in today are actually sheen. 99% of my earrings are sheen. Nice drop on those. They hang pretty. Very nice for $1.79. Very, very light, very light. Those will not hurt my hurt my ears at all. So $1.79. And like I said, I don't know if all of their jewelry is like that, that their earring backs are not on, but kind of pay attention to that if you would, would order jewelry through them. Let me see, what is next here? I wanted to try some of their shoes and boots. These are, I'm gonna go ahead. Like you can see how the boxes are kind of damaged, but like I said, I really don't care because none of this was for a gift. That wig, it, there is hair everywhere. All right, these are called the Fashion Pointed Toe Ankle Boots. These are a size seven and a half. These were $21.49. I have wanted a pair, they come with a cover. I have wanted a pair of these for a very long time. These are like a, um, what would you call that color? Almost like a cognac color. It has the nice stacked heel. And these are just the slip-on, like mules. It has the um, kind of little, what do you call it? Like elasticized, just little area here, spreads just slightly. It doesn't look like there is elastic in it though. It just looks like it's kind of split, just decor. Point toe. I did try these on. These are a seven and a half. They fit perfectly. Perfect. I, I love them. I can't wait to wear them. Me and hubby are actually going to go out for a late lunch, early supper as soon as I'm done making these videos. So I'm, I think I might wear these with this sweater. Very nice. It's almost like a um, faux suede. Because I know these are not real suede. There's no way. But these were very, very true to size. These were a seven and a half. I am a seven and a half. So those made me extremely happy. And of course there is two. <laughs> I should have taken the other one out. Just very nice, very, you know, they just, they look a lot more high quality than what you paid for it. Super nice. All right, let's move those out of the way. And again, those were, my gosh, that hair is everywhere. Those were $21.49. All right, I did that. I think I did just about everything except this one item here. I showed you the pillows and I'll show you those again here before I end the video. The last thing is this little humidifier. This is the 2.2 liter double spray humidifier and it was $14.48. I know in some of my videos, I talk about how dry our house is. We have steam heat and I always have a humidifier going all the time because it's just so, so dry in here. You walk around just zapping yourself. I wanted a little version that we could put in our bedroom or if the kids are staying, we could put it in their room. And I thought, you know, for $14 and nine or $14.48, why not give it a try? Guys, this is cool. I do have this plugged in for you. I plugged it in yesterday to just figure it out. Can you see that? It has two, two little jets of steam. It also has a light, and I know it's gonna be super hard for you to see that, but there's like a rim right around here and the light changes color. And when you push the button, it has different functions. You can actually make it just do one. Did you see it? It went from one side to the other. I think that's so cool. And you push it again and that shuts it off. There's barely any water left in here. We've been running this now for the entire day yesterday and it is it is actually doing an awesome job. We have one of the little weather stations in our kitchen that shows the inside temperature, the humidity, the outside temperature, humidity, all of that stuff. and. It, this, we've turned it on, had it running for a few hours, and the humidity level actually did go up in our kitchen. So I think this is an excellent deal, and it's silent, guys. It, it makes a very quiet little hiss sound, but you have to have your ear right up on it to hear that. This would be perfect for in a baby's room. 
perfect because it is silent. I think that's great. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off and show you what the inside looks like. Did it shut off? You pop the top off. I don't want to spill any water, so I'm going to try to do this here on my desk. It is one like this that has the little probes. And they go down. You're probably not going to see, but there's a little bit of water left in there. That's probably why the one jet wasn't pumping out as strong. But you, all you do is when the first time you use, you put your tap water and it says your tap water, nothing else. You put tap water in here, you pull these off and there's a like a little cotton wick. You soak the wick in there for, I think it said 30 minutes and then put it together again. And then you just insert it into this. The lid kind of snaps down on and you plug it in and it worked instantly. As soon as I plugged it in, it started, started steaming. I love it and I will be ordering another one of these when I place my own order. I think it's great. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit that here and let it run. That would be perfect for a baby's room. But they had all different colors, all different styles of the little humidifiers. I wouldn't be afraid to buy any one of them. They, they, if they all work like that, I think that's amazing. So anyway, guys, oh, I wanna show you the pillow. It is slowly puffing up. It is puffing up, that's great. So I'm definitely gonna be saving this pillow. I'm not sure how long it's gonna to take to actually puff to its full full capacity, but I'm sure it's gonna take a while because it was, it was compressed in that bag for a very long time. And this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if there's some way that I can repair this and just clean it up because the rest of the pillow is in great shape. So stuff happens, guys, even, you know, even to, you know, everybody's saying that YouTubers get special treatment. No, we don't. We, we get the same treatment as everybody else does. So anyway, I hope you guys like this. If you did, please subscribe. Hope you're doing well. And I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm going to jump right into part two. And I think I'm going to have on a different outfit in that, this next video that you're going to see tomorrow, another outfit that I picked out. So yeah, I'm going to jump right in and make that video. So if you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.